Simona looked back and saw a guy sitting there who was part of the crew, or so she thought. Hey Jim Rockers, this is Ramona. Today we're going on an epic journey to discover the symphonic metal vocalist and songwriter of Dutch metal band Epica. Simona Simone. She's of Dutch descent, lives in Germany. She's been with the band for around 20 years. They've toured from Australia to Mexico, reached international success, and are one of the most respected names in the genre. Simone has teamed up with multiple talents such as Lori Anson, Leaves Eyes, Primal Fear, and Anger. She's also collaborated with Tommy from Camelot on Arion's music video as the Angel of Death. Simona was born in the Netherlands. She has a younger sister and they actually wanted to start a girls band when they were younger. Fun fact, Simona and her sister were once pulling ropes and Simona fell through a glass door. She escaped without a scratch. Simona had an interest in music since the age of 10. When she was 12, she auditioned for a part in a musical in primary school. She lost to a girl with no singing ability but plenty of acting talent. However, her singing skills didn't go unnoticed. Her teacher was so impressed with her vocals that she wrote an extra part just so she could sing in the show. That was her first show and she was so nervous that she almost peed her pants. Her teacher then encouraged her to get vocal lessons so she could really exploit her talent. She started with pop and jazz lessons but really didn't enjoy them much. She then switched to classical singing. She played flute for a couple of years but gave that up because she didn't get along with that teacher because she was too strict. Her earliest musical influence was Whitney Houston. She listened to punk rock and alternative like many 90s kids in high school. But then her first boyfriend, who was a metalhead, introduced her to black metal like Dimmu Borgir and Cradle, including Opeth, who she still enjoys to this day. She then got exposed to symphonic metal with bands like Nightwish and Lacuna Coil, who she absolutely fell in love with, particularly the combination of female voices with metal she thinks is a beautiful contrast. Fun fact, when she was about the she got really into black metal and wearing inverted crucifixes. She dyed her hair blue, even purple, and put on extreme eyeliner. She would even wear Morticia dresses with long sleeves, but one day she was flushing the toilet and the sleeve went into the toilet bowl. And that was the end of her Morticia face. Darling, have you subscribed yet? Around 16, she ran into Mark Janssen, who had just left his band after forever and was looking for a singer for his new band, Sahara Dust. They started dating and in fact, her first rock concert was with Mark at 16 when they watched After Forever. Mark offered her a role of a vocalist in his band, but she declined. She wanted to finish high school, but she was very shy and insecure. I mean, she'd sung on stage twice and hated it anyway. The band, however, couldn't seem to find the right vocalist and she got offered the role a second time. Now, she's a big believer of things happening for a reason, that nothing is a coincidence. So at 17, she decided to take a leap of faith and signed up to Sahara Dust, which we now know as Epica. Simona lied to her parents and didn't tell them at first because like all parents, they wanted her to finish high school. But then came a day when her Epica show coincided with her choir event on the same day. Busted! So she had to spill the beans. Her mom loved it, but her dad was still skeptical. Fast forward to 18, she quit high school to fully focus on Epica and the rest is history. Needless to say, her dad is really proud. Epica was, is, a massive success, but it came with a cost. The success of Epica felt like being on a constant high-speed train and it started to take a toll on Simona's health. Between 2003 and 2007, the lack of rest between touring and stress was starting to get to her and her immune system was struggling. She was getting sick quite often and had to heavily medicate with antibiotics. This actually fucked up her immunity even more. In fact, in 2004, she was diagnosed with appendicitis and ruptured her appendix while touring in Mexico. She was in pain for a long time before the doctors could figure out what was going on and she had to have immediate surgery which she quickly recovered from. She continued to perform after the surgery while sitting on a bar stool. For a couple of months later though she struggled with infection and had surgery several times. She went to four hospitals but the doctors couldn't figure out what was going on. What's up with these doctors? After a lot of tests they found that she was infected with MRSA also known as hospital bacteria. This treatment required a strict daily hygienic schedule and she was forced to cancel most of her shows for the next month. She only fully recovered a few months later and started to take care of herself better. But that was not the end of her health nightmares. While touring in Colombia and also in Tokyo, she suffered from a really bad case of food poisoning. So much so that she was shitting and puking at the same time and even threw up blood. Honestly, she thought she was going to die. She still performed and struggled with bad heart palpitations at the end of the show. Imagine having to then endure two long flights after feeling like that. What a shit show. She and Mark Janssen split, but they're still both performing as professionals in Epica after all these years. Simona and her now husband, Oliver, who's a keyboard player for Camelot to have a son. She actually performed on stage until she was six months pregnant and only stopped when it got really uncomfortable and a little unrealistic. She had to ask her manager for help to get her shoes on and zip up her dress. Eight weeks after she gave birth, she was back in the studio recording despite being really exhausted with breastfeeding and, well, mom duties. 
Needless to say, Simona really started to take care of herself following these health scares. She's always been in such amazing shape, but she had to take care of herself internally. She eventually got back on track through a healthy diet, exercise, enough rest, and a good state of mind. One of Simona's hobbies includes cooking. She loves sharing recipes on her Instagram page. Her food usually contains a lot of fruit and vegetables. Her healthy diet definitely shows in her skin too. I don't think I've seen such flawless skin. But apart from eating skin-friendly food, she really takes care of her skin. Simona runs a beauty and lifestyle blog called Smoon Style where she shares all her makeup and skincare routine. I must admit I didn't go through all of it because I'm lazy as fuck with my skin and I fucking hate makeup. But a couple of things stood out. One, she never leaves the house without sunscreen literally every single day of the year. She says it's the best anti-aging product. Two, she always takes off her makeup before bed. If she forgets, she'll wake up in the middle of the night to take it off. Wow. On tour, she carries a blender to whip up smoothies and protein shakes and also a fan for omelette. She also carries nut bars, granola bars and emergency chocolate. Free show is just a banana, so no big meal. Fun fact, she carries a squishy animal with her on tour. Now, Simona started drinking coffee after she had her child. We get why. She used to drink Red Bull Light Free Show but stopped that since she got pregnant and had a child. Simona also enjoys both hot and iced tea depending on the season along with cookies. She loves Asian and especially Indian really spicy food. Simona did smoke weed in the past, but currently does not smoke and doesn't do drugs. She drinks very little alcohol and prefers red wine. Although she eats relatively healthy, she believes in balance. Her guilty pleasure is chocolate, licorice and cupcake. Her favorite cupcakes are vanilla and carrot cake. She said in an interview that if there was one food she would eat forever, it would be pancakes. Her favorite ice cream is peppermint with chocolate, the best of which she only found in Australia. Fun fact, the grossest thing she ever ate were oysters. She hated it and said it tasted like pussy juice. She also loves American hamburgers, frozen yogurt, and the little cake pops from Starbucks. Simona works out about one to one and a half hour a couple times a week. She lifts weights and does a little bit of cardio too, but nothing extreme. She loves nature, lives close to nature, and hikes near the black forest. She has a love-hate relationship with working out. Hates sweating, but loves the feeling afterwards. For tips on staying motivated, get up, have your coffee, get breakfast, and get dressed. If she stays in her PJs, she doesn't get anything done. You're like me and you enjoy lifting heavy shit and listening to metal. I've got something to motivate you. Our exclusive unisex t-shirts, hoodies, and more for fit metal heads is now being shipped to USA, UK and Europe. Did I mention that shipping is fucking free? I don't know about you but I love free shit that motivates me. So, link in the description. Go check them out. She has a step tracking app on her phone so she doesn't get lazy. Simona doesn't go to too many parties so she doesn't have to yell and can protect her vocal cords. She also avoids loud pubs especially where people are smoking. Simona burns a lot of calories on stage with the jumping around, singing and head banging. When she isn't touring, she tries to compensate by walking out more. Not just to stay fit but to channel her frustration than aggression. Speaking of touring, when Epica was in Tokyo and they were loading the van, Simona looked back and saw a guy sitting there who was part of the crew, or so she thought. Then he started jumping up and down and asking for photos, and turns out he was just a ninja fan. How the fuck did he get on that van without anyone noticing? The other kind of activity Simona really enjoys is yoga. She says she used to be really stiff and yoga has been a great addition to her usual workouts. As a vocalist, she understands that her core and back need to be strong. She uses her whole body to sing and switches up singing styles using her voice economically. When she's tired, so she doesn't strain it. Simona is a huge movie buff. She particularly likes science fiction, horror, fantasy and aliens. Tim Bowden is her favorite director of all time. In fact, she and her husband did a cover of This Is Halloween on her YouTube channel. I actually enjoyed that one. She also loves Disney movies and Ariel the Mermaid is her favorite character. She says she's got a bit of Ariel and Ursula in her. Although she loves horror movies, she is terrified of spiders and also heights and listens to a lot of Ramstein. In fact, it was the most epic show she's ever seen. Apart from metal, she listens to a wide range of genres and doesn't like being put into a box. She says she's a musician, loves music and can fall in love with a melody, a voice and not a genre. When asked about being a woman in metal, she's actually one of the few women to say that she hasn't felt discriminated because of her sex. In fact, she feels more comfortable working with a bunch of guys or she would have gone crazy with too many women. She says women can be emotional and stay angry for weeks. So she's learned how to communicate with the boys and keep the peace. Her advice to girls following a similar path, think like a man on the road, grow a beard and some balls. Fun fact, she's been married several times. Some of her male fans in the audience carry big signs asking Simona to rape them and also to marry them. She always says yes to not be impolite. Simona loves expressing her creativity. If she isn't singing, she's creating articles for her makeup and lifestyle blog or improving her photography skills. She says if a single day goes by without her creating something, it's a wasted day. All this while juggling motherhood with a partner who is also a touring musician.
situation. Easy for her to burn out because she is such a control freak. So she has to remind herself to slow down and be in the moment. Her motto? Cafe diem. Seize the day. Make the most out of the present instead of allowing fear to stop you. She says, I will not let other people tear me down as long as I still have fun doing what I'm doing. Just like Simona, Lizzie Hale, vocalist of hard rock and heavy metal band Hailstorm, started her band in her teens. 13 in fact. Check out her insane fashion fuel journey to the top right here. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed, screw you. Just kidding. Come here. Group hug.